Hi, my name is John Gosnell. I'm a co-founder of the Promethean Art Collective, and uh, this is a, a little interview about the collective, where we've come from, where we are, and where we're going to be, and uh, celebrate our two-year anniversary, which was on the 29th of July, and uh, talk a little bit about what's, what it's been like for those two years. So uh, the collective started back in, uh, back in 2018, the foundation for the idea came after the first show back in March of that year, which was a show called Oblivion. And uh, Simon got lo loads of these cards printed that said PMG on. And uh, the idea sprung from, uh, I wanted to help Simon out, really. It was um, my, f my friend, he, he, he suffered from a bit of mental health. He had a bit of bipolar and stuff. and. Uh, uh, when I, f I noticed that when, the, when we were doing the Oblivion exhibition, he seemed very focused and very driven in that. And uh, he did, he, his mental health didn't really suffer as badly as it normally did. And so uh, the, f the collective originally came from the idea to help him with his mental health. And it developed into this, uh, this idea of like getting a group of artists who um, all had different, different styles of work and different things to bring to the table and how we all would bring that together to try and create something quite new and quite different and that and uh, we we seem to achieve that you know the ladies that I work with all of them have individual styles I mean Alika's uh, does this thing called cameraless photography uh, Liz does this uh, this thing with which is like um, so it's, it's like digital printing with uh, scanner printing and she's been she's developed that into a form of painting as well now Shireen does these political statement flags type things depending on what's happening in the world and current situations she creates different flags for different things Uzga does a mix of like these different types of oil paintings surrealist oil painting mixed with uh, this a thousand year old Turkish uh, paint, uh, painting technique called soil painting which creates these beautiful marbled effect paint like pictures that uh, it almost looks like marbling but the beauty of the technique is that, that you can move the, the inks around in the water while you're doing it so you can create these beautiful pictures and stuff and uh, like and th those people there that they're the original members of the collective you know like uh, apart from myself and Simon of course I have uh, Simon, who's a, a video artist and uh, mixes uh, like video type style art from uh, his imagination to like stuff that goes on with his brain and transcribes with his music as well. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a mix of his music that he's created and these, uh, these images and videos that he, that he basically go around everywhere taking sh short films, everything, and then mash them all together to create these different films and stuff and you've got me who is uh i'd class myself as maybe a mixed media type artist someone who uh tries a bit of everything and uh sees what sees what he can do That's great. so when i first met simon he was um he was he was just uh working at a place called Oddbins, and um he wasn't he wasn't into art really or well, he was but he wasn't doing any uh, any art or anything like that he was just starting to dabble with this music stuff that, that, that he really got into and uh then i sort of disappeared for for like um 17 years and when i came back he had um he was he was completing his ba and i remember going to his, his degree show and it was this massive room, all, d all black and dark, with this uh, pram sat in the middle of it, with burnt up um, like dolls and stuff on. And uh, I just, this, uh, the second I walked in there, it was like it, it was Simon through and through, literally like the person that I'd known like since I was like 18. It hadn't changed at all. But now he had just found a, a means of an, a, a means to express himself. And it, it, was, uh, it was really great to see that. And I remember him doing his masters and completing the masters and showing the videos there and stuff. And he, he developed his practice and refined it 
just over it. That I, in the little time that I knew him from doing that, his, uh, his practice became more and more refined and more and more um, creative. And he was able to express himself in, in a way that I'd never seen someone quite put into, to, into pictures or video how their head actually worked and what they, it is that they wanted to create. And Simon had a, a, a wonderful means to do that and then put this music to it that he created for it. A massive bit of synchronicity to what we did to start with. I mean, the collective officially started with that first show in that gallery. And uh, I can distinctly remember having a conversation with him outside there where he was going to me, it wouldn't it be really great if we could put an, a, a show in the entire space here? And I was like, yeah, calm down, Simon, calm down. It's, 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 it's pipe dreams, mate. You know, just, just bring it back to earth a bit. But two years later, we are. We're putting a show on here, you know, and that's um, it. Sort of blows me away a little bit when I think about it. And uh, you know, like he'd be really proud of us for what we've done. And uh, like, uh, not not a ch not a show goes by. Actually, not a day goes by that I don't think about him and think about what what he's given to me and what I'm trying to do to honour him, you know, and what we are doing to try and honour on him. So. Um, yeah, it's 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 been an an honour serving with the collective and being there with them.